If you own the M2 Air or you're considering purchasing the brand new MacBook Air with the M2 chip, you might want to pay attention to this one, especially if you want to start using this for music production on the side. What's up fam? I'm Brandon Rico and my friends here call me Rico or Brandon or Brandon Rico, whatever. This is my channel where I talk about music production, mobile music production, and some of the tech to help you get it done. And occasionally we might cover a lot of that stuff in between. So yeah, basically it's a music production lifestyle channel. So if that sounds like something that you're into or if any time during this video you feel compelled to join the family, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and join the conversations fam. We'll be happy to have you. Welcome. So last week I was able to introduce you guys to the brand new MacBook Air with the M2 chip and I was even able to make some recommendations for specs and configurations that you should really consider for making music production on your M2 MacBook Air. One of my recommendations just so happened to be the upgrading of the storage. At 256 gigs for the base model, don't have a whole lot of room to spare. You might want to reserve some of that storage for work or school or both or, you know, just everyday documents that you might want to just store right there into your computer. And so one of my other recommendations for those who are looking to make music on their MacBook Air with the base model was BandLab. And it's just starting to look like it's making more and more sense to use BandLab, especially with the base model. Not because they sponsored the last video, but because it's just, honestly, if you know me and know the channel, you know that I rarely ever do sponsored videos. So for me to do sponsored videos or anything that I talk about or recommend, it has to be something that I actually believe in, actually care about, or something that I actually use. And I do honestly believe that BandLab would be beneficial to a lot of you in the community, whether you're a beginner or an enthusiast, or if you're just trying to get your music out there. So since we know that the read and write speeds are crippled on the base model storage, as files just don't read and write as fast as they do on the upgraded versions, BandLab definitely just starts to make more sense when it comes to music production on a device like this. Up until now, I believe we've only talked about the BandLab app on BandLab Mobile from our iPads and on our iPhones. So today I want to introduce you to the BandLab desktop. And BandLab on the desktop just so happened to be cloud-based as well. I mean, it's cloud-based on the app too, but BandLab on desktop actually consists of a DAW that you can run inside of your internet browser. And from my experience, you're getting the best results when using Google Chrome's browser on BandLab desktop. So let's crack open the MacBook Air and let's get into BandLab on the desktop. So let's open up Google Chrome and then let's go into bandlab.com. You see that that loads really, really quickly. And just for scale and reference, I have the activity monitor up uh, so we can check our CPU activity as well as what, what type of memory usage we're getting. And right now, absolutely nothing is going on on that M2 MacBook Air, so there's not much, not much activity to really talk about just yet. So let's go back to Band Lab. And so once you're logged in, you can check out your profile. You can ed make edits to your profile, and it's pretty much like a social media type situation here. You have your projects here on the side as well as some live stream shows that people are doing so you can really stumble upon new artists or collaborators that you might want to check out. You can actually add friends over here on the side so so if you want to collaborate with some people that you found on BandLab and you can go ahead and uh, send them a friend request as well as go ahead and look at your playback history. Um, so if you found some beats that you like or some music that you might want to collaborate on um, or something that just gave you inspiration, you can check that out here. So from here, you have your explore page and you can explore everything from hip hop to reggae. Well, and once again, you can stumble upon a bunch of different creators, some people who are near you or people who are across the world somewhere and rappers and beat makers. So if you wanna collaborate with artists and get them on your beats or wanna cre create beats for artists, you can find them here as well as some mu musicians and instrumentalists that you can collaborate with as well. It's a whole social media vibe. And then from the library tab, you can also check out the different works that you've done um, and all the editing edits that you've made. And then you have this huge red create button. So let's go ahead and create something. And, and then from this page, just like the BandLab mobile app, you get to see a lot of what looks like an actual DAW. So you can create a virtual instrument and you have your orange screen keyboard to where you can press the keys on your laptop. So if you don't have a MIDI controller or anything like that, you can literally, you can create right here just from your laptop. So let's create something. Let's right click into 
the uh, timeline and create a MIDI region and then double click in that bubble and we're going to create a uh, let's create something from the piano roll So just like a regular doll, you can click in and add your notes on the piano roll, and then let's create a let's create a virtual drum machine. And from here, you have a beat sequencer, and you can change up these beats. You can play it. You have eight different patterns you can choose from, or you can create your own patterns. So let's go ahead and. And so now we can play that with our whole composition. You can even go in and change the instrument. So let's go ahead and change that to a, let's see what this pad sounds like. Let's go with bells. So let's add one more track and we're gonna go with another virtual instrument. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Let's change this from piano to electric basses. I'm gonna go with this one. And like I said, you can plug up a MIDI controller and play it that way, or you can use an audio interface to record vocals or a live instrument track. And we'll probably talk about that in another video. And none of it gets saved to your computer and taken up any space unless you want it to. So you can hit publish, and that way you can pub publish it to the community, or you can keep it private and save it for yourself. And then it all saves in the cloud, so you can access it from anywhere. So if you create something on here, you can actually go into your phone and, and find the same file and project that you created here, and then you can finish it on your phone or your tablet or vice versa. So if you want to save your composition to your laptop, all you have to do is go to File, Download, and you can download them as tracks individually so that you can send them out to other beat makers or songwriters, and they can mix it down how they want to, or you can mix it down as is. Once again, nothing gets saved to the laptop unless you want it to. Otherwise, everything is saved to the cloud. And so far, we haven't used a whole lot of CPU usage or a whole lot of memory running this thing inside of our browser. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit play and see. So once again, you can see how capable this machine is just by using a free DAW in your internet browser. So if you're a student or you use this for work and you need to reserve that storage space for other documents or even video editing, this is a great solution for cloud-based beat making. 
and it has all the tools that you might need or or things that you can explore and learn and grow while making music on the go all on a free doll inside your web browser so if this was helpful to anybody please consider hitting that like button and if you want to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that i post in the future i'm brandon rico and this has been the introduction to the band lab on desktop thanks for rocking with me and thanks for rocking with the channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace